that we dig, and we'll throw them out uh, for you. We'll intersperse uh, some of you local bands who submit things to me. Uh, if you just have a request, maybe something you haven't heard in a long, long time, uh, no matter how obscure, uh, you can send it. The email address is 2htm at wmms.com. We also have a Facebook page, too. But tomorrow night and Saturdays, 10 to midnight, all metal, back on MMS. Stoked to do it. You know, we have a lot of bureau chiefs in the great state of Maine, and there's always big doings uh, in Maine. I think a lot of people forget them because they're up there at the tippy top. But, uh, you know, we have Scott in York, Maine. We have a bunch of people in Portland, Maine. That's a college town. And um, someone with vegan license plates, like, I shouldn't say vegan license plates, somebody who is vegan and had vanity license plates, had them approved and then removed from the state of Maine. They gave them to them, and then they took them back. Which is bad news if you're a vegan, because as you know, vegans can't stand for you to not know that they're vegan. So they'll have a vanity license plate, or they'll have stickers all over the back of their car, or whatever. But this is just patently unfair. Guy gets a vanity plate <clears throat> that says, Love Tofu. L U V. T-O-F-U. Now, first off, it's misleading because nobody loves tofu. You tolerate tofu, but obviously it's be impossible to get tolerate on there. So L-U-V tofu. State of Maine says that's fine. You know, we've all seen these lists of vanity plates and, and combinations of letters and numbers that for whatever reason, states will go, nope, can't have this. And some of them are pretty egregious. Some of them are very obvious why you can't have it. Others are really silly. And uh, they told him that they were going to rescind his vanity plates. Is it too close to I love to F? I love, yeah, love mm -hmm. to F you is yeah. what they, and he's like, I, 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 I love tofu. He's first of all trying to convince him he loves tofu. So maybe they were just figured they were doing him a favor. But he's not alone. They've recalled almost 300 plates. They initially see I think first of all the list is dumb just the initial list is really really stupid uh if maybe there's something rather than they're looking at this the wrong way rather than trying to be the arbiter of what other people might think is offensive if somebody has a vanity plate like that in any state just charge them exorbitantly more for it just say you can have that you can have I eat <laughs> whatever, you know, mm -hmm. uh, but it's going to cost you $500 or whatever. And they go, let's see, let's see how much you want it because it's arbitrary. Who cares? I even if it's an appropriate or, or even if it's an offensive vanity plate, who cares? Who gives a rat's ass? People care. People get worked up over dumb things. So. Yeah, they do. But who, but I don't care about that either. Like if I ha let's say I have a vanity plate and somebody finds it offensive. That's got nothing to do with my life. They should cost you $6, find it offensive. Well, that you find it, it. I don't care if you find it offensive. It's none of it's my license plate. It's not your license plate. I'm offended by your Jesus uh, stickers. How do you like that? I'm not telling you to take them off your car cuz it's your car. But this I, guy is one of 300 people who had his uh, vanity plate removed by the uh, state of Maine, he was offered another license plate, V3GAN. Still, you'd get everybody would still know you were vegan. That's the most important part. But he said, nah, I'm done with the vanity plates. So he opted for a random one. But um, even if it was love to F you, who cares? You could say, no, no, I, I love tofu. No, I love tofu. I, I, yeah. Tofu's great. But um, listen, and just think of all the revenue you could generate for these states. You, don't right. to, you have to put all your eggs in the pot basket, by the way. I mean, you go, yeah, you can have a, pa a, a potentially or patently offensive vanity plate. It will just cost you a uh, lot of money. money. Yeah. Yeah. I think they should start at $6,000. Now, why $6,000? Is that just arbitrary? Yeah, just a nice round high number. Amount. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, it's a ridiculously high, but the people that really want it, I think, would pay it. Yes. 
So, um, and then for every letter you have to like be clever with where you use a number, that's an extra 500 bucks. Oh, if you mix it up, you have yeah. to, yeah, okay. Like the V3 GAN, that's that's going to be 6,500 because you're using a three instead of an E. You know, in, uh, uh, in, in Ohio, they rejected about 800 ideas last year from M-U-R-D-3, R, clearly trying to spell murder, to U-G-H, F-M-L, to oh. Antifa. Uh, who cares? Even if it's referring to se- – just charge them a lot of money. You, know? you do P F F F F F F F T. We can't get on a on yeah. that. Yeah, on that license plate. So why not? Yeah, I, I don't mm. know why not. You know, you want to have a Let's Go Brandon vanity plate. Yeah, who why not? Who cares? All these things should be fair game. Because you know they're just running them through a computer. It's not like Patty and Selma are sitting there at the DMV checking off lists of stuff. They're running it through some kind of program that flags anything that might even be. That's why Stripper Scott is the smartest out of all of us. The With his badge uh, lover. That's right. That his is pretty famous yeah. workaround. Uh, uh, isn't it in, what is it, New Hampshire? Or may, where they just let people do offensive ones? That I don't know. I th- we talked about it a few years ago. Did we? Cause yeah, because there's place. an Instagram account where they have all these wild custom license plates. Okay. Wasn't well, New Hampshire's state, the New Hampshire state slogan used to be live free or die. So I don't know how you can have that. I thought that was a James Bond. You're thinking of live and let die. <laughs> live free or die. How are you going to have that and then tell people they can't have their vanity plates? Yeah, I don't know if uh, New Hampshire lets you do uh, anything. You it want. was one of those northeastern states. I'm not sure if it was North ha- New Hampshire. Okay. Well, that is a northeastern state. Mm-hmm. But um, now in New Hampshire, you'll receive a letter by mail telling you that your vanity plate is uh, denied. So they have a lot of rejected plates there. Pro 420, P-R-O 420 got rejected. Because it's a reference to marijuana. Who cares? That's practically legal in just about every state. Say, get your money at least, state. That's what I'm saying. Like for everything. Yeah. Uh, I think it's Maine. Maine. Well, we were just talking about Maine. Yeah. That well, was the Maine? state that was uh, okay. They got uh, vegan or uh, love to f you. What is there fun to do in Maine other than eat lobster? Like, does Maine have any like party places? Well, I mean, Portland is a college town. What, what are you trying to go to the club in Maine? Yeah, I don't. Uh, I, don't I think never that's hear... really there. But I'm sure there's plenty of drinking. There's yeah. a lot of moose. Yeah, you like moose? You can. It's the end of the Appalachian Trail. Maybe you could start in Maine and hike the Appalachian Trail. Doesn't that go all the way into like what West Virginia? Yeah, way well, down. Uh, way but down. it's it's st- either starts or ends in Maine. Interesting. So yeah, there's things to do. Hey, listen, Maine is making, uh, they're throwing it out at all the L.L. Bean stores, by the way. Maine is making lobster lotion now. So, you know, the one of the most important things I can tell you is to moisturize. Bill knows this. I know this. You got to moisturize. And uh, Maine's lobster lotion is now getting rolled out at all the L.L. Beans. So think about that. Have you ever noticed, everybody focuses on the lobster shell. Have you ever noticed how supple a lobster skin is? If you really get in there, oh, come on. So L.L. Bean stores are going to start selling uh, lobster lotion. Now, I don't know if you can use it on a lobster. But there is a protein in it that helps lobsters heal wounds and regenerate claws. Mm-hmm. Whether or not it'll have the same effect on people, I don't know. I don't know if it'll help you regenerate your claws. It might be worth looking into. So um, when we send pound cake to Maine, those of you who listen in that state, just kind of give us a quick rundown of the best things to do there. My wife and I have had conversations 
past couple of years of just driving up the eastern seaboard and then ending in Maine and then coming back down. But I ending in Maine as if you have a choice. <laughs> He's like, hey, we're going to end in Maine. Yeah. Well, you could start there and come down. I mean, you could fly to Maine and drive down, and, you know. Okay. But you end up having, you have to do a loop, I guess. But You could go kayaking. I know how much you love kayaking. Never been kayaking. You've never gone kayaking. No, nah, that's. Well, then maybe you do love it. That's hella white people. You don't know. Bro. I'm huh? scared. You know, there's plenty of black people who go kayaking. Name two. Frank and Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even sound like black names. I had a black neighbor named Frank. Yeah, I do. I have a black. black names that are uh, kayak. You can go on a moose safari up there. You can uh, moose. Safari. Moose is scary. Is it moose or moose? Mooses. They're in the woods. Moose. In the woods and in, in, in moose scare me. Why? So the plural. Of have moose you ever is seen moose. one? Uh. I've my uncle recorded one when he was uh oh never mind that was an elk but that's aren't they like the same size? I don't know. It, an elk and a moose yeah yeah probably moose and elk they're just massive creatures and well just, yeah I mean you don't, don't want to get real those. close to yeah, them but know. I mean they're pretty majestic. He recorded a moose. Yeah, because he was. Does it sound like this? They have amazing voices if you get up close. Yeah, he went elk watching in Colorado, I think he was. Yeah. He was up in the mountains where the air was real thin and he was he saw elk. I'm like, why would you want to sit there and just watch elk? By the way, little known fact about elk watching. And you can also, a great place to do it is in the Great Smokies, if you ever find yourself in North Carolina. Great elk watching there. But a lot of people don't uh, stop to think about when you're doing elk watching, you know what those elk are doing? People watching. People watching. And it's really that, uh, it's really that uh, uh, communing with nature that makes it uh, such a great place to, to live. All right, this is kind of an adjacent question, but what are... Why are there, like, the different lodges with different animals? Like, there's the Elks Lodge. There's the Eagles Lodge. I think there's, you know, all those different lodges. How do how do they assign the animal? Or I don't know. Just a th- I, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know. The Loyal Order of the Moose, you mean stuff yeah. like that? Like, how do they pick the animal? Right. I don't know. Do they ever change the animal? I don't know. Do they ever bring one of the animals in to hang out? Hey, here's a, outside, like, here's well, Bertram out the Moose. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, I don't know. Couldn't tell you about that. I know there Put is um, there. I know there's a town sure in is. Illinois called Moose Heart, Illinois, and that's where the Loyal Order of the Moose is based. That's where their headquarters is. So maybe they just named it after the town, but I don't know. That sounds likely. That might be a little bit too easy of a... Of an explanation. The Elks Club uh, began as a social club in New York City. Boy, think about that because it's it's kind of associated with kind of maybe more rural areas sometimes. But the Elks Club began in New York City. Well, maybe when it began, New York was still kind of rural. But in uh, order to become a member, you had to be, uh, you had to believe in God. That was a prerequisite for membership. And want Did no- the Elk know that? <laughs> I, it's be, named after me, but I can't be it because I don't know what God is. It would be really cool if the elk was what they thought was God. Like they ended up just worshiping oh, the elk. almost like Hindu with cows. Well, cows are sacred, yep. sacred but yeah. Like if the they, elk is gods, sacred to sacred, the— sacred, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Not sure how they got to that point. And are there other ones like there's moose, there's elk. Uh, I've heard of eagles. Uh, are there like rat lodges? <laughs> Are there uh, muskrat lodges? Are I don't know about that. Raccoon lodges? Muskrat Susie, muskrat Sam did the jitterbug out in muskrat land. I don't know. Porcupine? I've never uh, delved into um, uh, the lodges, as it were. But uh, I don't know what you have to, to do to be. There's an Elks Lodge in Parma. Maybe we have some Parmanians who can tell us how things work. I don't know. Uh, we got our uh, after hours line up and running again. The um, you want to leave us voicemails two one six nine eight six eighty nine zero three. Alan, this is Greg, not from Malaria. 
Um, I love you. How do I get rid of this? <laughs> this is stupid. I don't know how to... Can I delete this? So, listen, <laughs> I'm drunk. Um, just wanted to say hi. Wanted to say I love you. I love you. You can, oh boy, you can hear the moment that he wishes he hadn't left a voice. Yeah, he goes, oh, part. I messed up. <laughs> uh, how do I delete this? Uh, now, the after hours line back in the day on this show was just the drunk dial line. So maybe he's going back. Maybe he's an old school drunk dial line user. And so he has that, that uh, as soon as he gets drunk, that's what he, he has that response, picks up the phone and leaves. A, I mean, it's after hours or yeah, and, and it's open during hours too. So you can just call it any time. So, I mean, we get political Joe usually calls when he's drunk. Yes. So there is that precedent. He does. Um, I love you. How do I get rid of this? This is stupid. Mm. I don't know how to... Can I delete this? Uh, uh. Hey, how, uh, I really want to get rid of this. Hey, Malia. Hi. Is it Malia? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's up? Um. So I'm a biologist, and you guys were talking about mooses and orcas the other day. And um, a fun fact, I don't know if you guys knew, but... Um, a predator of mooses are orcas. All right. Um, hey, Malia, moose. I'm having a really hard time <laughs> taking you serious as a bo- biologist <laughs> because you keep calling them mooses. Is it mooses? Um, I, I'm not sure. Oh, <laughs> yeah, well, you're the scientist, <laughs> Malia. I'm deferring to you. I thought oh, it was God. moose. I thought it was just moose. She's like, nervous, she's like, fun um, fact about the mooses. <laughs> oh, come on. All right, well, tell me a fun fact uh, about the moose. Well, they um, they commonly feed on aquatic vegetation and will swim between islands. Um, so a common predator of theirs are orca whales. Will they just swallow a moose whole? Um. Yeah, yeah, or they'll feed on carcasses of moose that drown in the water. Um, it's pretty interesting. Now, do you think that the whales would know the proper plural of the word moose? Do you think that they would be uh, any uh, information there on the... You're not a marine biologist, are you? No, I'm a freshwater um, biologist, so that's that's out of my realm. That's the problem. Elk live on the land. Moose, rather, live on the land. She's a freshwater biologist. Right. So when it comes to salt water, you're at a loss. Yes. That's yeah, where your expertise I, that is not ends. My field. It's the same, yes. but with salt <laughs> in it. And she goes, I'm sorry. Sodium chloride is where I draw the line. <laughs> I got nothing to do with it. Okay. Thank you, Malia. I appreciate thank the, you, Malia. Uh, it is, uh, appreciate the information. The only correct plural of moose is moose. People sometimes mm. add an S to moose, but that is incorrect. Did you ever think that there would come a day on this program where we would inform a scientist of information that we had that they didn't have? I think about that every day. Are we pretty dopey on this show? Indubitably. Nevertheless, who could have foreseen a time when a scientist would call us and we'd say, ah, ah, ah. Put your sorries in a sack, mister. Why don't you get back to the fresh water and uh, leave the mooses to us. I've got to take a break. If you want to send a text, 35192. If you want to go see Kevin Hart, he's bringing his tour to the Hall of Fame Stadium in Canton in a bit. And I'll get you a couple of tickets for that coming back. Listen wherever you are, by the way, too, on the iHeartRadio app. Rover's Morning Glory. My physical therapist was so hot that I was totally... 